what are taxing statutes these are nothing but uh, statutes dealing with the levy of any kind of tax they can also be called revenue statutes since they generate revenue for the government these uh, taxing statutes may deal with uh, direct taxes like uh, income tax or wealth tax or indirect taxes like the gst without looking at the bigger picture that uh, taxes are ultimately used for the welfare of the people if we look at the immediate effect of a tax it creates a burden on the person who is paying the tax if taxes are not paid then the taxing statutes may create a liability a penalty or lead to a punishment on the person who is being taxed so if a statute has the potential to create any kind of burden liability penalty or punishment on the people it should be interpreted strictly now remember the strictness is on the statute and not on the person which means that if a tax statute is not fully clear about whether a particular transaction is taxable or not the benefit of that doubt should go to the person who is being taxed strict interpretation means that the scope of the statute is limited to whatever is specifically mentioned in that statute no additional taxes can be inferred implied or extended beyond what is specifically written in that law for example when uh, ebooks started becoming popular then the tax laws still had not caught up with the concept so if you were selling a book in both physical and digital versions only the physical sales could be taxed and the digital copies were exempt because the tax laws did not specifically mention anything about digital books so the strict interpretation of uh, tax statutes meant that the benefit of the gap in the law went to the publisher till the law was amended to include digital goods also into the tax net in summary if a taxing statute needs interpretation then the courts will first apply the primary rules of interpretation such as the literal rule the golden rule the mischief rule etc and the outcome is interpreted strictly and it is interpreted in favor of the person the other basic principles to be followed include harmonious construction so that the interpretation does not lead to contradictions within the statute itself or with other statutes also new tax laws should be applied prospectively on transactions occurring after the enactment of the statute and not on past transactions that occurred before the law became effective and the beneficial provisions of a statute that give any exemptions deductions or rebates must be interpreted to benefit the taxpayer and any interpretation of any statute must be validated against the presumptions as to interpretation of statutes